Conductive coatings. We ventured into developing products that would be conductive. By conductive coatings I mean anything from simple static dissipation all the way to the other end of the spectrum which is EMI RFI shielding. And EMI is electromagnetic interference or radio frequency interference for the RFI portion. Uh, we started this uh, process to develop this because we were being asked by a number of plastic molders if we had any industrial coatings that could conduct electricity at various levels. And we took that as kind of a uh, challenge, so to speak, to uh, see if we could develop products that would do what, ex what was being asked of us. We spent a little bit of time in the laboratory and developed a water-reducible coating that had excellent adhesion to plastic substrates and had the ability to accept uh, a coating that's called e-coat or electrophoresis which is actually electroplating paint onto non-conductive surfaces. With that we ventured out further and we brought this to the attention of a number of our distributors and our salespeople. One in Detroit in particular thought that there might be an excellent application for the automotive industry and specifically for plastic bumpers which were just starting to be manufactured to replace the heavy metal chrome bumpers on automobiles. We partnered with these people and they were able to get us a trial run at Chrysler Belvedere to actually see if the product would electrocoat on their manufacturing lines where they were building the Chrysler New Yorkers. After the molder had received our coating and applied it to the plastic bumpers, they were shipped to Belvedere, Illinois. We arrived on the scene and we watched as the automobile car frames were going through the process of being coated and painted, etc. The plastic bumpers were affixed to the metal framework and that was the only point of contact. As the entire car frame body was immersed in the electrocoat bath, and came out the other end, it was obvious that the plastic which had our conductive coating on it was completely plated with the electrocoat primer. From there it moved into the electrostatic spray which required conductivity for the base coat and clear coat application for the finish of the cars. Uh, we were surprised to see that it worked so effectively. At the end of the line the bumpers were removed from the car and they were brought into a conference room and they were inspected by not only our personnel but the Chrysler personnel and their current paint supplier which was a very large company not us unfortunately and uh, the impression was is that we had a product that really worked. They used a device called a DOI meter distinction of image which was nothing more than a Polaroid camera with a lens that had uh, graduations on it to be able to detect how deep you could see a reflection and how clear that reflection was. The top of the scale had a number 15. The banners in the plant said target 15 meaning they wanted to achieve that type of gloss and clarity on their car finishes. The metal parts on the car that were being produced at that time were typically 11, 12, possibly 13. The DOI reading on the plastic bumper that had been plated over our conductive coating had a reading of 14. It was approaching the absolute perfect mark of 15. Uh, it just once again shows that uh, the innovation that we have and the ability to uh, work with a customer, partner up to develop a product for their needs was once again met by our laboratory team.